Introduction to NetBeans ID that is NetBeans Integrated Development Environment. Here we shall discuss about NetBeans ID and the Java programming language. But before proceeding, let us discuss about application software and graphical user interface. So what is an application software? An application software is a piece of software that is used in a specific or particular domain. For example, the software used in banks or schools or railway reservation systems etc. Now the software the banks are using cannot be used in schools or in railway reservation systems because the functioning of banks and schools and railway reservation systems is different. Why we are discussing about the application software? Because with the help of the NetWins IDE and the Java programming language, we wish to develop smaller, smaller application programs, that is application software. Before proceeding, let us discuss about one more term, that is graphical user interface. So what is interface? In terms of computers, the meaning of the term interface is the way of interacting with the computer system the way of giving the commands to the computer system. A program interface that takes advantage of the computer's graphical capabilities to make the program easier to use is known as the graphical user interface. Well-designed graphical user interfaces can free the users from learning complex command languages. For example, we've got different folders here. Now I want to copy this particular folder from this location to another location. I want to perform the copy operation. Simply right click here, a drop down menu is displayed and from the drop down menu I can select the copy option and at the destination location simply right click and paste option is selected that all the data is copied from the source location to the destination location. I don't have to memorize the syntax of the copy command. Only with the help of the pointing device, all the data is selected from the source location and it is copied to the destination location. So this is the ease of use which is provided by the graphical user interface. The user or the end user has not to memorize the commands. Next is rapid application development. As we know that there has been a great uh, advancement in the field of computers. In case of rapid application development, we want to develop the applications rapidly by using the inbuilt tools provided by the RED systems. NetWins is also having number of tools which can be used by the users to develop the application softwares. RED system provide a number of tools to help build graphical user interfaces that would normally take a larger development effort. Rapid application development enables quality products to be developed faster, saving valuable resources. By valuable resources, we mean the time, the cost, and the manpower. Here, we, wish, we shall be using the NetWins IDE 7.1.1 version, uh, although, although uh, older versions may also be used. This is the main window of the NetWins IDE from the file menu. Select new project. Here different categories of the projects are given. From the given categories select the Java option and under the Java option different types of projects may be developed. Here we shall select the Java application. Click the next application. Here we have to provide the project name. Let it be hello world click the finish button here now look at the projects option here under the hello world application that we are developing here different tree like structure is given one java file is there 
and associated libraries are given there hello world.java hello world.java and this is the source code here within the source code we have a method public static void main and its body is enclosed here within this body we have to write the commands here this is the uh, this is the comment given we may delete it accordingly in java the comments are given by the front slash two times front slash symbols one line comment here i'm writing system dot out dot print line hello world now look at this symbol it's an error symbol it's showing that semicolon is expected as we have not put here the semicolon which is known as the statement terminator so that's why it was showing the error then this is the run option or we can press the f6 key to run the project in the output window hello world is displayed and build successful messages given hello world is the string that we provided here as an argument to the println method so it is displayed here 